All right. Good day to you all. Welcome to Hacking Star Self Storage. I forgot my name then. I was like, I'm going to call you Store Nation. And I said, Hacking Self Storage. Anyway, welcome to the podcast. So I've got something for I want to discuss with you guys. And obviously, it's going to be a one way discussion because you can't talk back to me. They're the discussions that I like. Okay. So. As you may know, I have been sending out letters to self-storage owners around the country, and I've been getting a massive response, a massive response, uh, because I, I basically want to buy self-storage facilities. Um, by the time this this is Friday, by the way, I'm recording this on the previous week, the Sunday, um, and we may well have come to a deal with at least one self-storage that I'm going down to see on Monday. Um and I, can't, I won't tell you where because obviously I don't. It might not come from. It might not come to anything. But um, hopefully we'll do. Anyway, what I've been learning is that holy shit, there is so much containerized storage out there. There is absolutely tons of it. And what I believe we. And by the way, that's absolutely fine. I'm a big, big advocate for containerized storage. When you look at my twenty thousand square foot building that we're doing shop fit on, it's going to cost over a million pounds to complete that shop flip. Shop flip, shop fit. Um, containerized storage, it's three thousand pounds or three thousand five hundred per container at a time, and you can buy them as and when you need them. So I can certainly see that. However, my problem is my issue is not with containerized storage, but with cheaper storage as a whole, cheaper containerized storage and cheaper indoor storage. The ones that have um and I've I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly this week. I've seen even seen great sites and I've seen some terrible sites. And the problem is that customers ha haven't got a knowledge of self-storage. They haven't got an understanding of what to expect. And so when they're comparing, I mean, one of my big bugs at the minute I get is, oh, God, somebody's coming in. I'll just see who that person is. It's my son. It's my son. Of course I'm going to answer it. Right, I'm going to tell you my what my problem is um, when I pause it. <laughs> I'm back. God damn it, I'm going to kill my kids one day. Well, not, not really. Um, yeah, so where was I? I was saying that my biggest problem is the fact that customers don't understand. They don't know what, how to compare because they haven't got the inside knowledge. Not inside knowledge. They haven't got the knowledge of the industry. So they don't know how to compare. On In a hotel, we know that a scabby, shitty hotel is a one-star. And an awesome hotel is a five star. And so we know that. We know there's going to be a price difference because of the starring system. So we know that five star is going to be more quality. One star is going to be less quality. And and that's why there's a price difference. My problem is at the minute that in self-storage, when I'm looking at these other places, not around my area as such, but when I'm looking at these other places to buy, I'm thinking, bloody hell, the customers, um, uh, and by the way, what I was going to say as well is one of my biggest peeves is that, uh, when, and there is people around me that do this, is they don't put real photos on. So the misleading, I can't, I, I really dislike that. I really, really dislike, really, really, really dislike it when somebody puts on a different photo that's not actually theirs and pretending it's something it's not, pretend, showing you in a, in a better light than you really are. I don't like that at all. I think that is misleading the public. I think that's wrong. And I don't think that we should do it. Anyway, onto the starring system. I believe that... It's worth a discussion. It's worth a discussion when, I mean, I don't know how, th this is obviously years in the future. I don't know how it would work. I don't know if it is even possible of working. I just believe we need something out there to let um, the public know, the customers know, our clients know what sort of star or what sort of facility that they're coming into. There's one There's one facility near me. The 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 pictures on the website look absolutely bloody amazing. It's brilliant. I store there and they're a lot cheaper than me. The The pictures look probably on par with mine. And and it's, it's one of the top sites in America. They've nicked it from an American site. And I'm like, well, that, surely that's misleading, surely. And so when you compare it, you're looking at their price and my price and you're thinking, well, theirs looks probably better than mine and it's cheaper. And so that's my issue. And I just think that there's got to be something out there, out there where we can allow the customers, allow the clients to see exactly what sort of level self-storage is. Is it a five-star? Is it a one-star? What is it? I mean, there's so many out there and it's it's fine. By the way, there's there's a there's a company near me, a containerized storage that I, I, won't, I won't mention. I'm not saying anything bad, but they're more for builders because the, the, the containers aren't particularly great and they actually, they're very, very open and honest and said, look, when I went there and pretended to be a customer, they said to me, 
if if you're storing stuff that you really want to keep dry, I probably don't think this is a storage for you. Brilliant. Not misleading me whatsoever, telling me it's more for building, it's more for scaffolding, whatever. It's more for that sort of materials rather than furniture. And they're not misleading you. But my problem is the people and customers and companies that mislead the public and just try to get money in. Uh, there's a couple of self-storage I've been looking at about purchasing. And they've said to me, oh, yeah, our containers are, uh, are once you shipping containers are all completely new. I look on, I look on um, the, they're actually street view. And I'm like, they're, they're never once used. They are not new. And so to cut this long story short, I is there somewhere, is there something we can do? Can we educate? Can we help the customers see what's a five star? I mean, I don't know how you grade it. What would you say that it has motion sensors, alarms as a five star? You, there'd have to be so much criteria for a five star, four star, three star, two star, one star, and everybody has to buy into it. And why would anybody buy into it? Who's a one star or a two star that wouldn't want to, would they? Because they're just saying, Hey, look at me. We're not as good as everybody else. So, Obviously, it's very, very unlikely to happen. I just, I just think it's going to get more. It's, it's going to get more and more difficult. Um, for the, the more popular it gets, there is people coming into the industry, and they're doing it on the cheap side. And there's this been this hoo ha about about um, allowing people to come in this industry, or, or certainly advertising people to come in this industry. And uh, somebody also mentioned to me about about wh why are you doing it? Why are you educating other self storage owners to be your better competition? Because I, I don't see it like that. I don't see it like that at all. I think educated competition is brilliant. So if you understand the supply and demand, then educated competition is absolutely fine. It's the uneducated competition that we don't want because uneducated competition will open in places where the supply isn't there and it'll hurt not only you, it'll hurt themselves as well. And so we don't want uneducated people. So I believe my job out, out here is to educate people on the supply and demand, when to open, where to open, if you should open. And there's always places where you shouldn't open as well because of, I, I was looking at somebody of a week and I was like, holy shit, this is, this is competitive. It's really, really competitive here. I cannot understand why it's so competitive. I've had somebody who uh, has just opened and found out that there's another big self storage coming in, and they're like, "Oh God, it's going to take up, it's going to increase the supply by three times. Increase the supply by three times. That's a bloody lot, three hundred percent increase in the supply." So I just believe that we, it's okay, people coming in to our industry if they're educated, because there's plenty of it to go around. There's plenty of business to go around as long as we are educated as as operators and business owners. If we're not then that's the problem. That is the problem. We don't want uneducated people coming in. So it's a bit of a rant that, about the fact that I, I I don't know how we can tell customers, well, I suppose it's our job, isn't it? It's our job. We've got to educate the customers as much as possible. And maybe we've got to do better or have our website. Oh, mind you, then will people just put up fake pictures, don't they? I don't know. It was just a thought that maybe, is there anything we can do with a, a starring system? I don't think there'll be anything we can ever do because obviously the one star and two star people will not want to be part of it because uh, one, they're not regulated because they won't be part of a self-storage association. And number two, why on earth would they want to put a one star and two star on, on, their, on their facility? But do you know what? It is starting to happen. It is starting to happen now where containerized storage is coming in and people are opening everywhere now. The more I, I'm quite lucky around my area, although Hull is becoming saturated, there's, there's three new people coming into Hull that I know about now. Um, and so, yes, it is going to become saturated. However, when I look at other locations, I'm like, bloody hell, how the hell do you guys do it now? It's, so, it's, get, it's getting to the point now where positions could be the way forward because it's going to be difficult to find locations from scratch. Having said all that, if we look at America, six um, six, square, six square foot per capita, nine square foot per capita, there's even places that are 12 and 15 square foot per capita in America, where us, we're averaging 0.76, is it something like that? So, it, so maybe maybe we've got a lot, lot more to go development-wise. Anyway, this is a bit of a weird a weird one. Um, two two. Outstanding message, I suppose, is number one, don't be scared of educated competition because if they're educated, they'll understand they'll only open where the, 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 there, is, there is a need for, for the self-storage and they'll understand the supply and demand metrics. Number two is I just get annoyed with websites portraying something they're not. And obviously a job of a website is to portray your company in the best possible light. But when you're lying, 
I don't, I don't think that's correct. And I, I think you're misleading the customers. So please don't display any photos on your website that is not actually your site because again, I just, I just don't think it's morally correct. Somebody was using one of ours, by the way. Somebody was using pictures of ours, which no, I took it as a, as a bloody compliment. Yes, get in there. Anyway, guys, girls, have a wonderful weekend. And uh, I will speak to you on Monday morning. Ta-ra! <laughs>